Last time on Let's Play The Lone Ranger, Clara was kidnapped and punching women didn't solve any of our problems, so let's go into town and search for some clues. As you can see, I went and farmed out max ammo in both sets of bullets so that I can not have to buy bullets again for a very long time. Also, I found a new love in life. HAHA! <laughs> Delicious! And now you can't complain that I never used the dynamite. Now I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter who I talk to in town, so I think this'll work. Yeah, yeah, that's what... Someone has to tell you that, then you need to go to Pike's Peak to find the actual informant. I think it's funny that there just happens to be an informant for our exact problem that everybody in town knows about, making him quite possibly the worst informant ever. The game is done with sheriffs now, but let's face it, I am the law. The sheriffs weren't really doing anything. I refuse to make the obvious Judge Dredd joke. Ow. Yeah, they bring back the knife guys here for some reason. Anyway, just head into the saloon. Now, these guys look kind of funny. Hey, buddy. So? Oh, is that it? Too good for me. Too good for the Lone Ranger, huh? Let's talk to this guy. Thanks. Hey, you know, those guys in there kind of looked like... Nah. Anyway, now we gotta go back to the mine office in Abilene, so back to where we started. Um, this seems like kind of a pointless fetch quest, but it's really to get you to wander around in these towns, which are actually quite large and a bit easy to get lost in. I can't quite remember where the mine office is, actually. So I'll have to wander around for a second. Oh, you know what? It occurs to me that I think it's actually at the south end of town. Whoops. Now here's the other saloon. Uh, let's go in and see what's going on. Now this place is bustling. Hey, you, pink dude. Yeah, I already knew that. There's no real reason to hang around in there. I can't shoot anyone, not even the waitress. What a waste. And now you know why I'm never allowed in Hooters again. Now oh, here we go. Office. Yep. Well, that was dramatic music for simple information. What, is your mind like a den of thieves or something? <laughs> Some kind of ninja training camp? Okay, here we go. Oh my god, ninjas! And suddenly ninjas! Yeah, this game got weird fast. Um, apparently whoever made this game didn't know the difference between Chinese railroad workers and Japanese ninjas. Oh, what? The that guy just tried to hit me with a sword? Yeah, he's running up all my shit. That takes some balls. Run up on the Lone Ranger with a goddamn katana. Also, I do not approve of these working conditions for a mine. What does this floating platform over a pit have to do with mining? Oh crap, I can't... I can't jump that. Damn it. Be right back. And we're back! Let's give this another go. Seriously though, how many stalagmites or stalactites or... How many big pointy rocks are gonna fall out of those ceilings? You know, the, the ninja stars are starting to piss me off. Yeah, you have to jump through this water. Um, walking through it's very slow. And there's also ninjas on the other side of it. 
Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that I purchased the long barrel gun as well. It's pretty much necessary for this and the last two levels. Um, the boss coming up, if you don't have it, you are gonna really struggle. Ow. Again, I hate those guys. Hey, no. None of that. Seriously, could a little bit of ceiling to How? That was a bullshit trap. A little bit of ceiling stability is all I'm asking for here, people. Oh wait, those are the wrong bullets. Oh well. I don't really need regular bullets much now anyway. Let's do this! Okay, so where is- oh god, he's Spider-Man! Ow. Yeah, if you don't shoot him off there, he starts chasing you around and throwing Molotov cocktails at you. It just occurs to me that the informant never said these guys have Clara. This just might have been a friendly ninja clan I just murdered. Oops. Oh good. Apparently he was evil. I'm glad, otherwise I might have felt bad. Not really. I'm gonna cut out a trip to the doctor here and I'll catch up with you at the hideout. And we're back! Yeah, the hideout's just in the middle of the desert. And now... The ninja training facility? What is this? How did they even make this in the Old West? I'm really starting to question this game's realism. I'm kinda curious as to what they're storing in all these boxes. Yeah, you pretty much need to go full silver bullet loadout. What the hell is this? Okay, I guess I can sorta of buy that those things might exist, but... Damn! Uh, yeah, the, the Molotov throwing guys drop hell. Okay, I know you're out there. Where, there you are. Yeah, I hate those guys. They throw three stars and they follow you around and they try to always stay to where you can't shoot straight up and kill them. So it's hard to shoot them without actually getting hit. Okay, this is a quick level. Hmm. What could this possibly be? Oh my god, Shadow Clones! Take that, Naruto. Yes, it's completely impossible to beat this guy without silver bullets, because you have to be able to shoot through his clones. Otherwise, he just runs you down with sword-wielding clones, and keeps spamming ninja stars at you. Oh, you've got a death speech, too. I already sent her away. Yeah, he couldn't stand her nagging, either. Yeah, well, tell that bitch I still want my sandwich. Oh, there she goes. Help! Yeah, yeah. Oh, thanks, Silver. Thanks for once again being slower than every other horse. Now, this is the last first-person shooter sequence on horseback. And it's really just the same ones from before. Recycled yet again. Actually, it might be a little different. I think it feels longer. Like it's both of them combined. It's quite possible you might still be injured after the last fight, but they do drop health during this sequence, so if you're good at it, you can heal yourself. And if you still aren't at max health, you can just linger on the path because the fight keeps recurring until you get to town. So if you linger on the path and you don't get hit, you can go back to full health for free. Okay, now that Silver has hobbled away from that horse, let's see what people in town are talking about. Yeah, I see a lot of them. They're all ninjas! Yeah, that's the game's excuse for uh, flooding itself with ninjas all of a sudden. Oh, there's foreigners, because if you talk to someone in the first town, they say it's because they just built the brand new railroad. Speaking of which, um, I should probably explain the railroads. They are mainly used for getting back to previous parts of the map more quickly. There's no real reason to do that other than to farm money more easily from easier to kill enemies. Oh, crap. I didn't really expect that guy to be there. 
I'm just gonna fill up on health from this guy, and let's take on the last part of this level. Which of course is filled to the brim with ninjas. This level also introduces us to two new types of enemies, the first one being the wall clinger, who you can usually just avoid entirely. I really shouldn't have got hit by that guy. That's a moment when dynamite would have come in handy. Let's take out this guy, and here's the new other new type of enemy. <laughs> Ow! Yeah, that guy just nunchakooed me in the face. His nunchucks are completely invulnerable to bullets, and he will not stop spinning them until you move a certain distance away, at which point he'll try to run back up on you again. And if he gets you too close to a wall, you can't do that, so you're forced to take damage and walk through him to kill him. Now, this guy's this this guy is pretty funny. Um, very rarely this happens. He drops health, but if I go down and come back up, he respawns and drops the health again. Normally, if you respawn enemies, the health respawning guys do not always respawn, but that one always does. It's probably because this section is a cave section, and that section was an indoor section. Okay, I really would like to get to the boss with full health. He's very difficult. He can be easy once in a while, but his pattern is very unpredictable. It doesn't always work the way you would think it would. Um, it occurs to me that there is a giant cave system under this house. That's kind of weird. Maybe Batman lives here. Oh, yeah. Uh, you can't shoot up while walking on stairs. It's kind of a Castlevania trap. You have to go all the way down before you can do that. Yeah, I knew you were coming. I remember this section and how much it tormented me as a child. You ruined my Christmas. Seriously, what the hell are these for? What what possible use do these serve in the Old West? How is this a viable way of getting around in your house? Yeah, you need to shoot that guy off or he'll push you off the platform. And if you have to come back up, it's not an instant death down there. It takes you to a tunnel that eventually I'll will let you walk back up, but it respawns all these guys. <sighs> this is the last one of these guys, I think. He's in a worse spot he could be. Oh, actually killed him without getting hit, that's rare. Ah, damn it. Oh well, I guess I'll have to go in at less than stellar health, but what can he do? take on a uh, fat Sasuke using his fire style okay I swear I'm gonna stop making those jokes now yeah um you can sometimes ow you can sometimes get this guy to bounce back and forth over you but he oftentimes lands on the platforms which throws him out of his pattern if you can get him to bounce back and forth you can just keep turning around and shooting him as he lands um ow okay that was bullshit he did not complete that animation Whew, that was close. Yeah, uh, if you can just get him to jump against the wall, that's pretty good too. Um, his fire breath is actually kind of broken. But, no more death speeches, that's really the last one. So, uh, let's just hump this lock open here and rescue Clara. Now the Lone Ranger, being a colossal pussy, does not bother to actually capitalize on this at all. And Clara, being a woman, doesn't actually realize that this is her ex-fiance. Which is kind of funny because, uh... As he mentions here in the cutscene, he tells her that her old flame and the Lone Ranger's brother in the Texas Rangers died... Wouldn't she know that her old flame had a brother in the Texas Rangers? Wouldn't she be able to put two and two together? Or is she just that stupid? Well, let's find out the answers to none of these questions next time. See you later.